What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest in Trade with Jax. We're gonna go with our friend Phantom. Uh, currently, we're sitting at two dollars and thirty cents. We're up about four point seven on the day. Last nice little push over the last twelve hours or so. We're sitting at a market cap of five point eight two billion. Twenty-four hour volume, five hundred ninety-seven million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to Crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app. The world's fastest growing crypto app and you can grab one of their incredible visa cards for cashback in crypto free spotify netflix prime travel incentives depending on the level of card that you have 25 dollars just for signing up through my referral so let's hop over into phantom so we're seeing a nice little push our entry was here i'm actually gonna quickly change this to black all right <laughs> our first entry was here at 210 um, so currently you're up on your trade about 9%. Nice little trade there. We are trending towards overbought on the RSI as well as on the money flow. And that's usually when you're going to see either some consolidation or a move back down. As you can see here, we saw a move back down. Right here, we saw a move back down as well. However, guys, you can see right here, look at this. Look how overbought we were. Overbought, 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 overbought. We just stayed overbought because we were pumping, right? So that can happen as well. If we were to see Phantom to start pumping, it can just stay overbought once again. But you know, you close, if you close like 25% around this level, it comes back down to 210. Well, you can lock in those profits and then re-enter with that 25% once again. And once again, have the exact same amount of money that you entered the trade with. So we have created a nice little double bottom here. You can see here, we came down, created a bottom. Create a, create a second bottom and we broke our neckline so we'll give a little target just a little baby pattern but they're very tradable guys i don't trade patterns much anymore because as you can see here when it starts to break the neckline you're already trending towards overbought so the breakout target is up here at about 241 for our friend phantom we also have the possibility of a larger double bottom which i'm going to show you guys i, sh I showed you guys yesterday but I'll pop it over to the four hour time frame. So you can see here, it's not the prettiest pattern. And usually it's a reversal pattern, right? So you wanna see your double bottoms on a downtrend. But you can see here, we came down, we created a bottom, we created a second bottom. And here would be your neckline. So you measure from the bottom of your pattern and it would take you up just past this level of resistance to about 262 for our friend FTM. If we can also come up and um, invalidate this head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. If, if we see a nice push and we push above this right shoulder, it will invalidate that pattern for Phantom. Of course, the bulls are very, very strong when we see a, a little push for Bitcoin. We start to see phantom take off all right guys and we can see on the four hour the money flow is starting to trend towards the bottom section again and that's usually where you see a push back up you can see right here we had a nice push back up and then when you come all the way down to about 22 on the money flow that's when money starts to flow back into phantom and you see a nice push back to the upside so do watch two dollars and 33 cents could act as resistance it's also a nice little trade opportunity of about 10, 11% for our friend FTM. We beautifully bounced off the 55 EMA on the four hour and we're now back above the 20. So if we pop over to the daily time frame, we're starting to creep up on the resistance of our bull flag pattern. So if we can break out of this pattern, guys, it's a huge breakout target. Let me measure it one more time. I did this yesterday. I'll just leave it in just in case we break out here and could take Phantom all the way up to about 332, very close to the previous all-time high. The recovery for Phantom has been absolutely incredible. I've been talking about the bullish cross on the daily. As you can see here, we're about to print the bullish cross. So if we hold the EMAs here, in my opinion, we're gonna see another explosive move for Phantom. However, if we were to break this level of resistance, we break the EMAs, and we have to watch for that head and shoulders pattern uh, that I have been mentioning here. So just a quick little update for Phantom. Our bull run targets here are, um, hold up, it looks like my Fib might have got knocked. Sometimes my Fibonacci gets knocked off a little bit. Uh, just when I'm checking it here on my phone, I just gotta move this up. Okay, perfect guys. So our bull run targets the two extension at 592 and the 2.272 at $10. And as I've been mentioning, if Bitcoin goes to 100, 150K, I don't see Phantom having, having any problems reaching $10. Um, on this bull run, but it's just my opinion guys not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor I'm just a young guy from Canada. If we quickly look at Bitcoin, we can see a nice little inverse head and shoulders pattern But we are hitting resistance on the neckline. We're just back above the 20 EMA on the four hour 
So if we can hold that support, we break the neckline, your breakout target is 50.2K. Um, but if we fail, if we hit resistance, we roll over, guys, and we're just going to see continuation of the consolidation for Bitcoin and, of course, the rest of the market. But sometimes we get those nice, you know, 10% trades. That's no joke. Even when we're consolidating, <laughs> that's no joke. <laughs> Even when we're consolidating, we're trading, we're making money, right? While most people are waiting around. Or when we're in a downtrend, everyone bought, you know, they bought up here for Phantom way up here and then we had some major sell-off and they're still waiting just to break even but we're dollar cost averaging we're bringing down our average price and we're riding the slingshot back up all right guys so our entries 210 191 155 uh, 136 115 and i always like to have a fail safe down here at 59 cents very rarely I, i've never seen it where the coin has just gone straight down like over 70 percent um, because it bounces along the way, right? It just doesn't go straight down unless there's a flash crash But even there's, if there's a flash crash and it drops 56 50 60 percent You're hitting all your buy zones. You're bringing down your average price and you instantly Slingshot back up into profits. It's pretty incredible when there's a flash crash uh, With the dollar cost average strategy equal amounts at each buy zone brings your average price down halfway each time If you're leverage trading, I don't recommend more than two to three X leverage and you have to double your margin take profit zones 233 261 297 346 uh, let me quickly open up the discord guys if you want access to these charts at all times for many coins sandbox gala vet v chain phantom solana they're posted here in the discord wow my <laughs> my laptop sometimes it's a bit slow when i'm when i'm screen recording here so you get access to all these charts guys it's the price of a coffee 350 usd you really can't beat it and you get access to 1000 members uh talking all things crypto posting chart patterns and uh, yeah, it's the price of a coffee. I sign up to Bybit. That's where I do all my trading. $4,100 in bonuses right now. And you can sign up through the link in the comments. I almost said through the Patreon. That's for the Discord. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care.